Welcome to Dell ATX Power Supply Hack Part 3, where I convert a Dell computer power supply into a benchtop power supply. Here I'll be deciding on a layout for the switches, uh, LEDs, and output um, for our power supply. Always make sure that you look at the power supply to make sure you're going to have enough room for your binding posts and other components. Uh, as you can see, the output binding posts will be in the first locations. That will be the neutral binding post. There will be an LED here that will indicate that it's plugged in. And there will be an LED here to indicate that the switch is on and everything is powered. Uh, in another video, I can show you how to make a LED jumper. Um, here's where I'm going to put the off-on switch. In this next clip you can see I've drilled quarter inch holes in my case and installed the binding clips or binding posts in them. Uh, you may need to drill bigger or smaller holes depending on your binding posts. Now I've set my multimeter to continuity or ohms um, to check to see if I have a dead short on any of my binding posts. And here on this last one you can see that I have um, a short so I need to fix that. After fixing that and retesting with my voltmeter, uh, I'm starting to install the wires. I'm installing the wires um, in the case, and the order really doesn't matter, but for me, I just went from the highest uh, DC voltage to the lowest DC voltage. After installing all of the wiring, um, I go back and install the switch and the two LEDs. I hold the two LEDs into the case by using some hot glue. Uh, once they're in place. Here you'll see that the switch and LEDs are in place and once again I'm going to check the chassis to make sure that it's not grounded out with a dead short to any of the components. Uh, and here I'm testing from the neutral uh, to the outputs to make sure there is a short um, and that's just showing that everything is hooked up correctly. Before putting the power supply together and screwing the case on, uh, I definitely wanted to check to make sure that everything was okay. Uh, so I'm going to plug the power supply in. Notice that when I plug it in the red LED light comes on to uh, tell me that it is plugged in and when I flip the switch the green LED comes on. With the case open like this be very careful not to touch any of the components inside the uh, power supply. There's some high voltages there. Here I'm just checking some of the output voltages to make sure they're good before putting it together. Here you can see I've put the case back on and now I'm testing the switch to make sure that works. And that looks pretty good. Uh, now I'm going to check the output voltages. So we're checking there's 12 volts and 5 volts and 3.3 volts and there's negative 12 volts. And here's something interesting. When you put the, the black tester wire in the negative 12 volt and the positive in the positive 12 volt, you get 24 volt. So when you plug into any two outputs, you always get the delta between the output voltages. So the delta between 5.5 volts and 12 volt is 6.5 volts. This will allow you to get many different output voltages. They're listed below in the description. This concludes Dell ATX Power Supply Hack Part 3. And as always, thank you for joining me. Goodbye.